This video is in response to the just be a lady hashtag. I'm going to share with you something endemic about women in our society and internationally. In our society, there is something called a sexual cartel. It's an unspoken of agreement among a group of individuals that people have to live by. Women especially have to live by. And we have a sexual cartel. A cartel is like, is an oligopoly. It's a group of entities or individuals which sell the same product and so they agree upon a certain price. They agree upon a certain, a same price just like the OPEC back in the day, the oil exporting, producing, exporting countries. And they sell the same product so they agree to sell it at a certain price. And inevitably in every cartel, somebody undercuts someone else and so they can make a profit. In our society, there is an unspoken of, but agreed upon agreement, a sexual cartel that we sell the same product and so you must not sell it, undercut us, sell it for something lesser than we agree upon charging for. Women in our society are in a double bind. A double bind is damned if I do, damned if I don't. Because our society divides women who have sex into these two kinds. And I want you, as I described it to you, I want you to think about the word that describes this woman who does these certain things. What do you call a woman who, on one hand, is someone who does things for her own reason. She has sex with a man for nothing in return. She has sex with a man. She doesn't want a relationship. She doesn't want to be committed. She doesn't even want a boyfriend relationship, boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. She just wants to have sex with him because she finds him cute, she finds him funny, she finds him alluring, she finds him sexy, or she's bored, or she has nothing better to do, or maybe she's just horny, maybe it's her ovulation period, maybe it's a one time in that month, maybe she just wants to have fun, whatever it is, she has sex with him for her own reasons, and she doesn't want anything in exchange, she doesn't want a relationship in exchange, she doesn't want any commitments, and her sisters and her peers and her aunts will decry her and say, you're giving it away for nothing. You have no self-respect. And so they call her this nasty, evil four-letter word, a woman who has sex with a man for nothing in return. What do you call this woman? Inevitably, the women that I speak with, they say, oh, she's a whore, she's a hoe. She's a prostitute. No, I'm said, no, that's not it. It's not commercial. Nothing, no money in exchange. Oh, right, a slut. And so they call her a slut. This that's the evil four letter word. A woman who does things for her own reasons and has sex for somebody for nothing in return because perhaps she's traveling abroad. She's traveling the world doing studies. Maybe she's a busy, busy CEO who has no schedule, no time, but she still wants to have sex. Whatever it is, it's her own reasons. And she does it for nothing in return. And of, in our society, if on the one hand you have sex for nothing in return, then on the other hand is the other kind of woman who only has sex for something in return, who only has sex for value. What do you call a woman who only has sex for value? Well, some people call her a whore or a prostitute. Well, in society, there's two kinds, two levels of, let's call it a hoe. There's a low status hoe in our society. They, they see her as a low status. And in our society, they see someone as a high status whore. The low status hoe is someone who has sex only for something in exchange, for perhaps it's value, perhaps it's money, it's uh, someone pays for her rent, someone pays for her car, someone pays for her taxes, someone pays for her trip to Cancun, whatever it is, he's paying me, so I'll have sex with him. And then in our society, there's a high status whore. And the high status whore says, I will have sex with you exclusively, so long as you provide me and my offsprings 
Security, the value of security for the rest of our lives. And there's a nasty evil four-letter word we call this woman too. That's right, we call her a wife. Now I love these two kinds of women. I love women who are who exchange only has sex for value. I love women who have sex for nothing in return, for um, for no no value in return. I love sluts, I love whores, I love wives, I love women. But in our society, women are decried for doing things for their own reasons. There's a sexual cartel. The cartel is saying the unspoken of and agreed upon agreement amongst women and amongst people. They're saying you're providing sex for less than the value we've agreed upon. And so they decry her. They call her a nasty evil four letter word. And they ostracize her. And they call her evil. They call her a slut. And so, women, recognize that you operate in this double bind. Men listening to this, cut women some slack. If you are a woman and you are growing up in a society where one equals zero or black equals white, nothing makes sense, nothing makes logical sense, you appear crazy because you operate in this world. Either you have no self-respect, if you do things for your own reasons, or you have self-respect if you only have sex for value in exchange. And you operate in this way, you will appear crazy. So women, uh, men, cut women some slack. And women, recognize, don't put other women down. You want your freedom. You want to empower other women. You want other women's freedom. And so don't say they have no self-respect because they're dressing sexier, they're being flirty, or they're... Um, they're having sex for no, no value, no commitment, nothing in return. And so women and men appreciate this about women and empower women to make their own decisions for themselves. Empower women and will bring women up when the water rises in the marina. All the boats rise along with it.